до бе дошли на българска територия, макар и в Англия, макар и в Лондон. Зад мен е българското посолство в Лондон и днес той е домакин на едно много интересно събитие. Българските независими лозаро винари днес поканиха любителите на българското вино да направят един майсторски клас, където трима мастера Уайн, Карлан Гилби, Спурия и Ричард Банфилд говориха за новото българско вино. Keep on stressing Bulgaria. I met Ivo and Edward at the London Wine Fair last year. I loved what they were doing and I, I really I really enjoyed their wines and I like them as people and their approach to wine. And that's why I'm involved today because they they, they engaged me and made me think this is a country I really want to understand more about. Going back into history, Bulgaria has always had um, a strong connection with grape growing and with wine production. I love an initiative like this, which gives us a chance, one, to taste the wines and speak to the producers and to talk about them with people, because that's what we really need. And I think, I hope that the producers who've come will have found the discussion interesting, because that will give, that should help guide some of their future thinking as to how to approach the UK market and hopefully the feedback on the wines themselves will have been helpful as well. And it has to be said that the comments on the wines were extremely positive. I don't think there's any doubt about the quality of the wines we've been tasting. The challenge is marketing them and selling them in countries like the UK. It's slightly floral, very pale in colour, dry finish, lovely aperitif. Господин Варбанов, как се представиха българските независими лозаро винари на днешния майсторски клас и на търговската дегустация? Аз мисля, че това е много добро начало. Надявам се да е една традиция, да се опитваме поне през две години, ако не всяка година да правим, защото Лондон е стратегическо място за винената култура. Всъщност тук се намира Circle of Wine Writers, което е браншовата организация за винените журналисти, базиране в Лондон. А, също така а, независимите магазини и ресторанти а, работят доста добре с а, продукти като нашите. Съответно това е един добър пазар. Естествено мисля, че има бъдеще за българското вино тук и а, на места, където цената не е толкова от голямо значение. След този майсторски клас българското вино намери ли нови приятели? Смятам, че да. Тъй като видях между аудиторията доста сериозни хора, имаше на практика в залата 4 мастер за вайн, също така байери и сомелиери от важни ресторанти и също вносители на вино. Time it spent in oak, and he said none at all. But it does spend six months, or it did spend that one spent six months in the egg, concrete head, on its lees, without racking. So that gives the wine a certain amount of flesh. And I think the no mallow is excellent because then you get the you get the clarity. And then the Melnick. Uh, what I, what I like about this is it it seems to, uh, sadly I haven't visited the area, but this is down in the southwest. It's a hotter part of of Bulgaria. And it's unashamed that it, it shows its warmth in the origins, in the, the sort of just the warmth, the, the, a bit of alcohol, the depth of flavour, but it also it's contained. There's a freshness, there's a balance to it. I, I'd, I'd like to think this is very faithful to its origins, or at least the pictures I've seen of its origins. There's a, there's a warmth to it, but it retains the freshness really well. I think very nicely done. What do you think about uh, this masterclass, uh, Bulgaria? The masterclass was just amazing. Those three uh, big names, those two MWs and Steven Spurrier, they are the masters in wine industry and they just explain with their deep knowledge about the, the great varieties and the, and the styles that they can make, the, uh, the style that they used to make and the style now they want to make and they show the past and the future that Bulgaria wine can make. Yeah. Your interest about wine is personal or professional? Yes, I am a wine importer from South Korea. 
I am here in Bulgarian embassy today because uh, not only China, South Korea, and Japan are inter interested in in those uh, Australia and United States uh, wines from United States, but also we are looking for something something uh, exotic, something that has a character, uh, a country where has grown more than 4,000 years and where country uh, that has a character with it, with them. What do you think about uh, um, the market here in England? Uh uh, well, you know, I don't really, I'm not in sales, so that isn't particularly my forte. Um, but again, I think probably that if I want to buy a wine from a country that I'm not familiar with, personally, I'm more tempted by the native varieties because I feel like I'll be getting something quite unique that I wouldn't be able to find anywhere else. The problem, and that is something that people need to understand, that in order to have uh, a very fine wine from indigenous varietals. You need to have a good investment in terms of research of the clonal selection, which is something that has not been happening for the last 25 years. So all the uh, varietals, indigenous varietals you're trying are either old vines or uh, uh, new vineyards with mother plants from old uh, vineyards. Bulgaria needs to find a space back on, on international market shelves. Optimist is the English uh, Optimist is the English Pazar, which is a very good thing. My opinion is that Понеже в България ние плащаме много добре за българското вино, е много трудно на това, което излиза извън България, като да се състезава с другите като цена повечко. Това е, може би, основният проблем, който се случва, но това, което казах, това се случва също в Канада, също се случва в Швейцария. Когато, как да кажа, успеха на локалния пазар е много голям, което се случва с българското вино, е много трудно, когато излезе извън границите. So, you know, I just keep on, keep on stressing.